Kelly getting this draw control from ASU, quickly passing off to Penta. Kelsey Penta has a nice look. Great save. Goalie even lost visibility after that save, but Aztecs coming up with a big save here to start this one off. Field 
showing her speed, splits two defenders. Hit the clears across for Sun Devils. Shot and goal. Brody Robinson on the 15. First quarter before getting the first goal. That's something I don't think either of these teams is used to. Again, seeing a doppel. She didn't quite get the shot off the way she was hoping. Maybe a defender from Aztecs got her stick in the way, but in any event, this will be back to Aztecs getting cleared out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only steps out of the circle, only can stay in that circle for 10 seconds. But once she's been played, which she has been played here, she can actually go back in that circle for another 10. Time. Finally finds an open player and Aztecs in transition. With a quick look inside, shot the goal. Up there. 
17 on the clock.
cage defending. Seconds left on the clock here. In this first quarter. 
Penta pump fakes, pulls out shooting space. So Penta gets this free position shot. You see the goalie starting with a low position save ready. Penta goes finds the right side of the cage, gets that free position. So far, 4-2 ASU.
Noski and Josie Robinson playing this tight one-on-one -on -one defense here against this Aztecs attack. Lena Bear is going to take a yellow card for that. He's looking for that check and definitely not aiming for the head. You can see that was just an unfortunate situation where the Aztec player stepped in as the stick was coming down. So with that, Abera heads out for a two-minute penalty. It's going to put Aztecs player up. players heading off as well. Uh, it looks like they might be heading over to see that athletic trainer. Sure, maybe the officials were concerned. Might be a concussion protocol, possibly. <laughs> Certainly didn't seem like she wanted to head off the field, but I think these officials are looking for safety first here.
is over.
had an offside there by ASU with that player down situation. So Paul's going to turn over and SDSU now working it back upfield. That's a nice look. Pump stroke, draw that shooting space. In, gets the shot. Sounds deflected. Labrosse had that ball inside the goal circle. And whistle goes against the Aztec, so Labrosse gets a chance to bring this ball out. Gardner. 
<laughs> Might have been a yellow green. My eyes don't deceive me. So possibly a delay of game. Sometimes off these whistles, with these players, especially the most common is they don't move behind quick enough and the officials will usually give them a few verbal warnings on the field. Often we can't hear those, but if they continue it, eventually that calls less delay to a green yellow and then even a yellow card. We got another yellow here. Jersey Robinson now heading off. So a couple players over in the penalty box for the Sun Devils. Aztecs have this key player up advantage. 6.13 to go in the second. In front of the cage. Great defensive stop. I feel the boss even got the save. I think a couple of defenders got in the way of that ball. So this you gets the foul call. Aztecs now in the free position. Comes in. Kind of an interesting shot technique there. Didn't quite have the stick facing forward. Got the shot off anyway. Great save. High to high. The drop. Coming up with a big stop. Quick pass up field. ASU back in transition. Last pass from Jason Pinter. Aztecs working across midfield. Yeah, it looked like we had another stick contact to the head. Kelsey Pinta this time. And I have not been counting yellows, but I think that could be ASU's fourth. If it is ASU's fourth, then that means these remaining calls, these remaining yellow cards uh, will not be releasable. So even if SDSU does get a goal, ASU would still have to serve the full two minutes. Driving in, LeBrock coming up big here. These player down situations. Really bailing out her team with these saves. Looks like with ASU having possession, they're gonna take a timeout. So play resumes, get a whistle. trying to keep things in control and not escalating. Might be what we're seeing here. 
playing a player down here. Continuing to get the better of ASU on these draw controls. A lot of credit to this ASU defense with and there's Alex DeBras making a lot of saves and even on the second attempt. Alex DeBras 
Ross is playing lights out right now. Again, when you look at all the penalties ASU has had, and Aztec's success on the draw control. It's realizing a lot of points here for the Aztecs in this first half. Back in transition, Kelsey Penta up. See here, players going for the ball, but going up with a trip. See if this is a yellow card. It is going to be a yellow. situation. with a low save. ASU oh, able to get that rebound and hold the ball. That's going to do it for the first half. Oh, I do none of the stuff. I do the second half. Oh, yeah. 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 Second half, player down. Let's get the draw control. Another yellow. Sorry, not a yellow. Still have her move behind. Still, we'll give Aztecs a free position shot. They come in on the Bross. The Bross comes in for another great save. Josie Robinson heads up on the rebound. Duffel's pass gets tipped. Got the ground ball. San Diego State coming away with it. Yeah, I love you. 
13-20 here in the third.
cultura, né? Deu, deu pau, eu não bato ele. Tá cortoso.
continue to see these deadlock standoffs. You see you holding this ball, but trying to get these shots.
Aztecs with that low, low shot. Great save by LeBros. Gardner finally clearing over past three straining line. We got a whistle. The player down there in the backfield. Oh. Looking for that shot off the left post. Ball out. Okay, so you backing that shot up. Buffalo has the opportunity to defend, goes down. Great save by Sophia Cup. Kelly comes over the top, but whistle for that check. for this ground ball. Gardner finally able to come up with that turnover she caused. Stopping that break. Pinto was looking for Kelly. Would have had an easy shot right in front of the cage. Duffel with the shot, wide left. by the defender, a yeah. shot and goal. Yeah. 
Kelly works from behind the net. Into looking for something not there. Ready and focused, in position. With us one on one against Sarah Mitten. Sarah. They're going to say that stick was too close to the head. That'll be another yellow card for ASU. Sarah Mitten heading off. Six forty-two to play, and that'll be 
Again, non-releasable for ASU. Sarah Mitten's going to have to serve the full two minutes. With that asset, it's set up with this free position shot and goal. Second game for both teams. Nice ground control for ASU. At the ground ball. Pinto coming in to the rescue. ASU's conditioning becomes a factor for either of these teams. And game two as it winds down. He's able to finish strong. Of course, ball control so critical at this point, keeping possession, trying to minimize the turnovers. Gardner looking for anything, just not there. And Aztecs really dialed into this ASU attack. Playing with this two minute down, Sarah Mitten out on the yellow. That's why we see the Aztecs in double team. Look inside to see the double, broke it up by the Aztecs defense. Josie Robinson able to get in there and get out. Mitten back on. Got the first strength for ASU. Clock. Not it up at 10. 
Gonna look to Duffel. Duffel gets up there, shots to Fia Cole. Leads it all the way, makes a beautiful save. Clears it out. Oztax on the move. Player down. Second yellow going against San Diego State, so they're going to be two players down there. With the ball for ASU, going to be restarting play. Again, just confirming times here with the players and, and the table. <laughs> so we're making sure that the table personnel here understand the rules for the order of releasing of these yellow cards. Sometimes at these tournaments, you end up with student volunteers out here running these tables, so not always familiar with the rules of lacrosse. Sometimes the officials have to take a little extra time. And I'm sure it's clear as mud now. And with that, play resumes. I really see some speed on both of these teams. That's Tex. Right. Well, Josie Robinson with the time. Opportunity here to put AC back on top. 3 or 2 on the clock. Gets the free position shot. Top center half. Sophia Coke in the cage. Robinson coming in. clock here at this college club level. Likely to play a role here. Number two has this advantage towards the end. Can just hold the ball and stall. Of course, they have to get possession for it. It currently resides at San Diego State. Razan loses the ball. Got a scrum. Good 
Mitchell Ward, this one to San Diego State. Dan's getting a little sensitive to the whistles here, but that is just a timeout being called by the STSU head coach. Back in after the whistle. Neither of these teams really looking too winded at this point. Stride for stride, one on one. Tech set a bit of a pick, but ASU are able to respond. Officials allowing some contact here.
almost out of bounds. Turn quick, quickly back over to Yeah. 
the goggles go back on. The official signal possession stays with ASU. Restarting at the penalty dot. Cassie Penta. Kurt Kraft. Alicia. And then she's got a defender on her. Gets that ball safely back over to the Penta stick. Penta looking for Brianna Gardner. Now turns over to Aztecs. Over to Sophia Coach to clear it out. Cage, side arms it. Shot off before the buzzer. Kelsey from far out rips one, but Sophia Coach makes the save. And with that, that clock hits zero. We're going into another overtime period.
All right, we're back. Apologies there. We were running out of power on just about everything with this overtime game, just able to get the stream back up. San Diego State University. So two upsets here. Dominican upset by UCLA. Now SDSU comes in, knocks out number two, ASU. Tomorrow's matchup for this Division I 2023 Western Women's Across League Championship is going to be between the San Diego State University Aztecs and the UCLA Bruins. Be sure to tune in for that. What a barn burner. Both these teams just leaving it all on the field today. Very physical, aggressive game. Getting the high fives at the end here. 